Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to learn how to create a simple Android library and publish it on the Jitpack repository. To begin with this, let us first create a simple Android project in which we will be creating our new library. I am here using Android Studio, you can also prefer IntelliJ or similar IDE. Let's create main activity class as we seem missing it. After adding main activity class, build and run the project to check everything works so far. Cool. We have our Android application running up. Now time to create our new module or library which we will be publishing to Jitpack repo. After creating the module, go to Project Structure and add this module as dependency for the current project. I am here creating one simple hello world class. This class have one static method which will just print the logs in the logcat with the tag and the message. You can implement any logic you want in your library. Time to test our library, for this I will just import the library into our project and call it static method that will print the log. As we can see the message and the tag now displaying in the logcat. This mean our library is working just pretty fine. We will now create one GitHub repository where we will be uploading our project. After creating the Git repository, navigate to jitpack.io where we will be publishing our Android library. 
sign into it using the same Git account on which we created the Git repository. Once logged in, you can see the list of all your public Git repositories on Jitpack. Let's initialize git into our project and commit push the code to the git repo. Once done, refresh the page to see the code on the Git repo. Let's now build our library and generate the .ar file which we will committing to the Git repo and hosting on Jitpack. AAR file is generated, you can also explore its source code by double-clicking on it. We will be copying this file to the root directory of our project. Now let's configure our jitpack.yaml file which will be placed inside root directory of project as well. Another file we need here is pom.xml which contains the basic description of our Android library. 
It also includes the developer information if provided such as name and email. After adding these files in the project's root directory, let's commit them to the Git repo. Let's now configure the build.gradle of our library, which will be responsible for publishing our library to Maven. I am linking up all these files in this video's description, so you can refer them. Now before publishing our library to Maven repo, let's try to first publish it locally to check and verify everything works fine. As we can see our library's POM file is locally published. Now we can go ahead and publish our library to Maven Remote Repo. Now create a new release on the Git, using the .ar file which we have generated earlier. Once upload is finished, publish this release on the Git repo. After publishing the release build, go back to Jitpack dashboard and check for the latest Git repo releases. Once release is shown up here, Jitpack will automatically starts building it on the Maven repo cloud. Once our library is built successfully, you will see the green icon on Jitpack dashboard. You can also check out the log dumped by Jitpack during the library building and publishing process. Our AAR file is successfully deployed on Maven repo. Finally, in order to check our library is working fine, we will create a separate Android project in which we will be using our library as a dependency in apps build.gradle file.
For this to download our library from Maven repo, we also need to include the Maven URL in settings.gradle file. We can now see our library is showing in Gradle's dependencies. We can also try to check out its source code. Let us now try to import and use this library in our project. As we can see the logs are being shown in the logcat with the given tag and message. Let's try to print log one more time with different tag and message. Our library seems working fine. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this video, hope this helps.